All right. After the it long awaited sequel to the first part, we're here with part two of the chain play for the Squirrel Squad cast. All right. I'm going to be real with you guys right here. I did not watch part one. All right. So picture, um, picture LPL, the Chinese League of Legends champion series. So you watch that, right? I'm like, oh, I love China, you know? It's like China, red stuff. And then you watch, it's like, wow, this puts me to sleep. It's like, you turn on LPL to fall asleep. This is what part one of the Squirrel Squad cast chain play was for me. No, I'm just joking. It wasn't that boring. But, um, I never got around to watching it, to be honest. So I know a little about this. So I open up the save file, you know? And I look at the player name. It's Sonrio. With an hour time of hour and 14 minutes. Zach, how did it take you an hour and 14 minutes to beat Brock? Holy shit, you're bad. And why is- okay, it's, is that the fact that the same song it makes me a little sad? But I'll work with it. You know what makes me even more sad? We're a boy and not a girl. Anyways, we departed Pewter City Gym- oh my god, previously on our quest, part 4. Look at him walk, look at him. He went into the museum? Sonia left Pewter Museum of Science for the next destination. Who goes to the museum? <laughs> Man, I should've watched part one before doing this so I know what I'm getting myself into. Alright. He went to the Pokemart and bought Pokeballs. Okay. I can handle that. And he also sold just one of the- He sold a potion? Huh? Hello? Okay. This is, like, I'm glad I have this. And he went back to the museum. What's in this museum? Alright. And Sonya saved the game in the corner of the museum. Alright, we own five Pokemon. Nice. He went with Squirtle. What a tryhard. And we're left with Beedrill! Yes! Alright, I'm only using Beedrill. <laughs> I have a Beedrill and a Mankey. The Mankey is named Uzi. He's of gentle nature. A vital spirit. This is ability. He has low kick rock tone. And we got the Bay, aka Beedrill. Brave nature. Alright. Our poison sting is going to be chunking. Oh, we know Fury Attack? That's beautiful. I am so excited. This month we're running a space exhibit. Alright, I can get take some of that. Yeah, a Pikachu and soon, I promise. Alright. This is exciting. I'm excited. I know none of you guys are probably excited as me. Oh my god, I'm so glad I have a Vidra. <laughs> That's actually the best. Alright, how much money do I have? Or how much money does Sanrio have? Eight? What? Alright. How many- do I have items? Did he just- I have 10 Pokeballs, and no potions. Alright, potions are for the week anyways, we don't need potions. Did you check out the museum? Yeah. Weren't the fossils from Mount Moon amazing? Yeah. Alright. This is the Mount Moon edition of the chain play, aka we're gonna defeat everybody's least favorite gym leader, Misty. Oh, Sonria. <laughs> I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm the professor's aide. I think people actually like Misty. I don't know. She's a bitch. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Why is my name Sonrio? <laughs> so, I've been having issues with volume recording while, while volume level while recording. See, I want to accept the volume where you guys can hear it, or, but I don't hear it. So what I do is I just plug in headphones, take off the headphones, and then just record it that way. Okay, I can run now. Did I go to the Pokemon Center? Doesn't matter. I'm not going to be using Mankey, I don't think. I already know, like, what I want to talk about in this part. And I think everybody's not going to appreciate it. It's going to be one of those discussions where I'm the only one interested. Alright, so let's battle the first trainer. I know, uh, I don't think I'm gonna speed this up. I'm just gonna Pidgey. I can't handle that. Alright, Baedrill. 
I think I might lose this. I can't. If does that pitch you no gust? I wonder. Do I have to go hard in and strengthen my defenses? I don't have any potions, so I can't really stall properly. You know what? We're just gonna go for it. Let's see how much damage. This is. Oh my god, I do zero damage. Oh my, that's like a solid thirty percent. Okay, it doesn't know gas. We're good. We good. Anyways, since we're playing a Pokemon game, I want to make the the, the the topic of our discussion. And by discussion, I just mean me blabbering for like an hour and fifteen minutes. We're gonna make the uh, topic of our discussion about something that's not so dear to my heart, but we're going to be talking about the Pokemon anime. Alright, now I know what you may be thinking. What the hell, Tanners? Why are we talking about the Pokemon anime? Alright. First of all, this route right here got ripped off in the anime. The order of the episodes is Brock's Gem, Mount Moon, oh shoot, it doesn't have Gus. What? The, why didn't it use Gus before? Oh, whatever. Anyways. Oh, that crit was huge. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Already at like less than half. Oh my god. I'm a god. I am a god at Pokemon. Anyways. Oh, that was huge. I almost lost that fight. God damn, Badrill, you are actually the best. Um. I'll explain the nickname behind Phaedrill after I've rambled about the Pokemon anime for a little bit. Anyways, in the Pokemon anime, it goes, like, in the first season back in the 90s. I remember watching that stuff on TV, man. That was dope. It was, like, the best. You watch Pokemon, and then Yu-Gi-Oh come on right after, and like, oh, what's this Yu-Gi-Oh thing? It's just like, whoa, what are these monsters doing? Anyways, back to the Pokemon anime. Is this Mankey any good, I wonder? It's named Uzi, so I don't want to use it. Because Uzi would just be like, Okay, guys. Guys. I'm a god. And you're like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> but, um... So, like, this route right here, what's this route called? Known as students have been stealing fossils from Mount Moon. Please call the pewter police if you have any info. Alright. This route 3 right here, it got ripped off. If this was, like, in the... Dawn era or the May era and Hoenn and Sinnoh. There'd be five episodes for this route, guaranteed. But no, they just completely skipped this route. Caterpie, huh? Is Bug weak to poison? I don't think. Let's test it. Let's give it a test. Man, I'm already at eight minutes and I've only battled one trainer. This is gonna be great. <laughs> this is gonna be like five hours long if I continue at this pace. You know what? That's fine though. It gives me time to speak my mind. Anyways, back to uh, the goodness of what we were discussing. Which is the Pokemon anime. Um, is this also like a Dawn or May? Uh, this is a Dawn or like May saga where Ash is traveling with like not Misty. Guarantee this throw would be five, six episodes, and there would be like a huge battle between him and Team Rocket at least six times. Two in the first episode, then one for each of the other ones. Alright, back to the Fury Attack. Fury Attack is like. <laughs> it makes your heart beat, because you, you hope for the crits, you hope you don't hit twice, and if you hit twice, you're just like, no! Just throw your controller. Anyways, nickname behind Badrill. Back a, a while back, um, I don't know if Zach explained this in the last part. I don't think he did. Um, how? Or do I, there's a ROM hack called Ash Gray, where it follows, <laughs> it, where it follows the Pokemon anime, like like the first season, like to a T, basically. It's really cool. Anyways, we were like playing it as a group, just a few of us, and uh, I got in trouble because I wasn't like following a cannon, like I wasn't catching a meta, a Caterpie, I wasn't getting Pidgeotto. I decided to use like Weedle just to troll, and like I was just like joking around, like man, Weedle's Beedrill's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's like the Bay, man. It's like Beedrill. 
Pence Beedrill. And everybody thought I was serious, like, I love Beedrill, but I don't know. It's eh. I'm kind of happy I'm using it now, though. So I get to use the Bay for once in my life. Beedrill's kind of a cool Pokemon. At the same time, it kind of isn't. <laughs> I just wish it was stronger. Mega Beedrill's really cool, though. If I catch your Colton, you just got smack food. I like shorts are delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Is this Youngster Joey? Oh, it's Youngster Ben. Oh, Youngster Joey's the top percentile rat, I think. Alright. Anyways, the reason why I was talking about the Pokemon anime is like, I was watching it, like, yesterday or the two the day before. It's like, there's like always a time in my life where I'm just like, you know what? I want to catch up on the Pokemon anime. So I've been watching, uh... I watched, like, half of the X and Y saga, like, six months ago, and I watched the other half, like, yesterday. Um... It's... Like, I can't believe that they're actually building a romantic interest with Ash and another character. It's like, holy heck, Ash just wants to be a champion, but... I don't know, man, that chick Serena is just like, I love me, and Ash is just like, I wanna win. It's like, rock, not Rocky. It's like Nacho Libre. I hope I don't lose this fight. Oh, come on, Beedrill, hit! <laughs> I might have to switch in- I might have to make a tactical substitution. And develop my macro play a bit here. No, we're gonna stay in. I think I'm gonna take one more attack before switching. He's a Leer, so he's down minus one. I can take another hit, I think. Oh, it's poison sting. That's not very effective. I can take many hits. Alright, I'm good. So yeah, they're developing like a romantic interest, so it's like, okay, I kinda wanna watch this. This is this is something I can subscribe to. So I've been watching that, yeah. And um It was like I was expecting much more from it, to be honest. Cause it's just like Ash does not give a flying fuck. <laughs> He's just there like, man, I'm gonna become the champion, and she's just like, damn it, I'm foiled once again. But, um, they actually went on a date in one of the episodes. But I, I, I have a confession, I browse Reddit, don't judge me. But I was looking at the Pokemon subreddit, and it's just like, holy moly, the anime is doing it. This is like the Japanese episode, like when it was aired in Japan. It's just like, Ash and Serena are finally going on a date. So that episode came out in English, yeah? And according to the subtitles, it's just like, Ash told Serena, it's just like, Yo, when I win the Pokemon League, let's go on a date. That's what the subtitles said. But now I'm not sure if the subtitles even said that, because I watched the English version. And it's just like, Yo, here's the present I got for you, and that's it. No promise of dating, no tree of promise, nothing. Oh my god. So it's just like, where's this promise about him winning the Elite Four or the Champion League or whatever, it's just so we can go on a date? That's all down the toilet. And I'm pissed. <laughs> I was expecting that, but it didn't happen. Oh. Then it made me realize, like, man... It's always those English, like... Whenever you watch shows, there's this back in the day. They would always, like, baby it with the dub. They, like, they wouldn't, like, make it as romantically intensive or any suggestive themes. It all that stuff got censored. Because it was for kids, you know? Kids can't be, uh, <laughs> plagued with ideas of romantic gestures. That's just not allowed. So... Holy shit, that did two damage. I can take another hit, I think. I can definitely take another hit. So that's not even allowed anymore. So, I'm not sure whether either the screenshot I saw was just a joke, or... I'm not sure if that screenshot was a joke, or that was just poorly translated. I'm hoping it was poorly translated, because, listen, I usually don't care about pairings and stuff, but Ash X Arena, that's the way to go right now. If you don't support that, you are the devil. I don't care. You're the devil. And you deserve to be in awful places that isn't on Earth. 
or up above. Like, I guess you could... What other pairings is there with Ash? Is like, what, Ash X May and Ash X Dawn? Ash X... No, it's not about Ash X Dawn, it's about Dawn X Cynthia. So it can't be Ash X Dawn. That's... That, that would ruin it. Dawn X Cynthia, and that can't happen. So I guess Ash X May. Ash X Misty, I guess, as well, but I don't know. Looking back, like, I never, like, knew about the, like, female archetypes before watching the Pokemon show when I was like five back in the 90s. So, and like reading back on it, Mindy is Misty, who is gonna be like the final boss for this segment, was such a fucking tsundere. I don't like swearing when it comes to these types of topics because I upset some people who are part of the squad cast. But god damn it, what is. Ah! I don't know, Sundries make me mad. <laughs> don't let Nick know though. I assume he's not going to watch this, so. There's no. He, I can rip on Sundries and not get in trouble. <laughs> but, um. Man, what a bitch. She's always just there, like, yelling. And just, like, giving Ash a headache. Like, come on, man. He just wants to be the master. Pokemon master, man. Don't be so hard on him. So, yeah. The new anime. The animations are nice, at least. Um, people are probably judging me really hard that I watch it, but I don't really care about what you, your opinion is on my habits. Like, usually when I uh, watch dub shows like that, I'll be playing a video game or something while watching it, so I'm not 100% committed to it, to every minute of it. I'm just curious as to how they're gonna ex uh, not extend but how they're going to develop the relationship between Ash and Serena. If they don't end up together, I'm going to be so sad. It's going to be like Avatar The Last Airbender all over again. <laughs> um, that was an easy opponent. Alright, what time are we at? We're at 17 minutes, and I have defeated two trainers. Three trainers, I think. Alright, let's battle you. This is going to be three hours long, I swear. I could speed it up, but I don't want to. We need content, and we need discussions. A lot of people are like, yeah, I stopped watching after Johto. Not Johto, I stopped watching at home or Sinnoh, which just got sucky. Um, Sinnoh was kind of sucky, Dawn was a bitch. Like, her character in the game is so cool, but then it's just like, oh my god, I might actually lose this. Alright, we're gonna have to do... Oh, no, he didn't go for Peck. This is huge. Alright, I need- Ooh! Oh! I don't have potions, I don't think. Packs all my potions. Alright. Fury attack of a lifetime. One. Two. Three! You're destroyed. <laughs> I just executed you on the spot. Oh my god, this game is giving me a heart attack. It's not good for my health. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick. I might just cut out these parts where I run to the Pokemon Center. That's what a real editor would do, but I'm not a real editor. I'm not even a real video gamer. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I didn't think I'd enjoy it, like... I don't know, it's okay, I guess. I'm liking the Beedrill. I, and how many Pokeballs do I have? I might catch another Pokemon and use it as well for fun. For funsies. We'll see. I'm not gonna buy potions, I don't think. When you're at this point in the game, it's- Ooh, I got a Skype message. I'll check that after. When you're at this point in the game, though, I don't think it's very efficient to spend money on potions when the Pokemon Center is always nearby. I mean, you can use them in battle and stuff, but who battles? Let's be real here. All right, you're next, bitch. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. <laughs> I shouldn't be swearing to it, you know what? I don't care. We're all mature here, we, we've we all grown. Everybody's like, everybody's six years older now compared to what they were, so we don't need to say Skitty or Ozzy anymore. 
or Bob Barker. The censoring system is dead in my eyes. Oh my god, that critical hit was huge. <laughs> what? Oh, I only got two times? What's the accuracy of this move? Let's have a look, let's have a look. The accuracy for these moves always varies from game to game, so I just have to double check. 85 is not bad, it's a 85% chance. Alright. Oh my goodness, Raditz huge. What a monster player. What a monstrous Pokemon. I always hated this part of the game. Like, usually you're just, like, when you have your starter and you're at this part, you're just one-shotting all these guys. But you know, I have, I have to give them a run for their money. Or they're giving me a run for my money. Either way, I'm getting destroyed. Once Beedrill gets some levels and I start <laughs> using, um, damn, Growl. Oh man, I'm getting destroyed. I'm not going to be doing damage now. Look, I'm doing, zero, like, nothing. Two times? Come on, do more than that. <laughs> this is like RNGmon. It's not Pokemon, it's RNGmon. So much luck. Never lucky. <laughs> Three. I, come on, I need that five times, man. That's all I want in life. Alright, I'm going for the Poison Sting. If this doesn't kill, I'm Alta Fouring. Oh. Yeah, this game's over. This sucks. <laughs> Alright, Bajil got a level at least. Alright, come on, learn a move that isn't Fury Attack. I'm getting tired of it. What TMs do I have, I wonder? I have no TMs. What berries do I have? I have an orange berry. Where's my Rock Tomb? Oh, there's Rock Tomb. God damn it, Uzi. <laughs> oh my god. I might actually buy Repels. <laughs> so that Mount Moon doesn't take two hours. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. You know what? If I'm gonna waste my money on anything, it's gonna be Repels. Repels. I want to catch any Pokemon. I do want to get the 10 for Flash. What's my PC? Is there anything in my PC, I wonder? Why is my name Sonrio? There's nothing in my PC. Move items. Alright, let's go to uh, Sonrio's PC. What do you have in your box, Sonria? We have a potion. We have, let's get the potin. Oh my god. I remember back on um, the old forums, there's like this RPG game you could play. And there's one guy who it's called Potions. Potins. P O T I N. And it's like you can have one more potin. <laughs> so, like, from there on on, I've been calling potions potins, potins. Whatever you want to call them. You can call them pots, I guess. Or, you know, like sodas. Let's chug some sodas. Alright. Let's go. Caterpie level 11. It's gonna know tackle and string so shot, so I think I'm pretty safe to just not think about how to do this battle. This is gonna take some quite the such strategy. Oh my god, four times Oko. Get out. Get out of here. Should I throw people under the bus? No, I'm not going to. I was going to talk about... No, I'm not going to. <laughs> um, so that's the it for discussion about the Pokemon anime. Um, I doubt there's anybody that, out there that watches, but you know... If you're a kind soul, leave a comment on what you think, you know? What else can I talk about that has been... Like, I don't know, I haven't really been going out much recently, so there's nothing interesting that's happened in my life. Um, I've been reading the Game of Thrones books, but I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want the spoilers. 
I don't want to talk about the spoiler stuff, so. And last night, I'm recording this on July 26th of 2015. Um, how are you not dead yet? <laughs> oh my, this part's gonna be like five hours, guaranteed. You know what, if this is a five hour part, I don't care, because this is a lot of content for the uh, Squirrel Squadcast channel, and then at the end of the day, that's what's more most important. But, um, I'm recording this July 26th, this is Sunday. Sunday fun day. Um, last night I played a bit of Hearthstone. I was actually getting spectated by um, Zach and Uzi, and they were coaching me on how to climb the ladder. And that's how we're gonna get to Legend. We're just gonna get coached the whole way there. You know, that's what they do in League, that's what we're gonna do in Hearthstone. We're gonna hire coaches before Tempo Storm or uh, what's the other big team? Or B4 Team Archon hires coaches, and we're just gonna like, we're gonna scrim, and the coaches are gonna tell me what to pick, I'm gonna get to Legend Rank. I doubt I could get to Legend Ranked in like, four days, though the season's over in four days. The highest I ever got in Hearthstone was, um, like, Rank 3, but that was a year ago, it was a very long time ago. In the month of May, I think it was? Yeah, in the month of May, which was like two or three months ago, let's see. There's, between May, there's June and July. We're in July right now, so two months ago. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Two months ago, I got to like rank five. I was playing Rogue. I really like Rogue and Druid. There was only two classes I had at level sixty. I played a lot of Hearthstone. <laughs> You know, I have like a- I'm basically like pay to win- I pay to win decks, but I've never spent money on Hearthstone. Actually, my friend bought me a wing of Max Ramos because he owed me money. He's like, you know what, I'll just buy you a wing. Like, okay, I won't complain. So he went and bought me like a $7 wing. And I was okay with it. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed by a Jigglypuff. Alright, we're gonna make a tactical substitution here. <laughs> Alright, let's go Uzi, it's all you, baby. Oh my god, I just blocked the disable. I'm a prediction god. Oh, that did no damage. You suck. Oh my god, that pound. That was the pounding of a lifetime. Come on, Uzi. Level up. Oh, let's see those manky guns. Karate chop. Alright, this Pokemon's broken. We're using it from now on. Uh, Scratch or Leer? Let's get rid of Scratch. Scratch is kind of useless on fighting types, to be honest. Uh, normal type moves on fighting types is just a no-go, in my opinion. Because, like, they're all neutral against the same stuff. And fighting is super effective against what Scra like, what's, uh, Scratch is weak to. So, I think it's a good idea. Do I have Repels? I don't think I do. You know, I don't need repels. Let's just go through this uh, game the real way. Um, where is it? Where are you? I think there's a hidden item. There's a berry here, I know for sure. I guess there's no hidden items here. Oh wow, that's a boulder badge you got from Brock. Yeah, no shit, buddy. <laughs> Now, since this is the beginning of the game, there's Pokemon Centers everywhere. So, let's heal our Pokemon for a few seconds, shall we? Alright, we're at 29 minutes in the recording. This is officially... Team Rocket attacks Cerulean Sis. It's on a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Alright, this guy right here, he'll sell you a magic herb. Since, like, the goal of this playthrough is to waste as much money as possible, we're gonna buy it. And we're gonna nickname this. Alright, usually we wanna make the nickname form related. But. Um. I don't know if I feel like doing it. Ah, uh, let's do it.
Look at this intense micro. Look at this APM for making nicknames. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough room. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I could be using select. That's what I should be doing. Alright, start. Let's go. Alright, we got our zeal minion. He's from the kingdom of zeal. He is a female naive magikarp. Keep in mind, it's a zeal minion and it's naive. Oh my god. This is actually perfect. <laughs> I might just like toss it in the box and leave it for whoever. Yeah, let's do it. I hope whoever has like the next part in this doesn't watch it. Alright, let's deposit the zeal minion. Can I buy another one, I wonder? I don't give refunds. You knew what you were getting into. Fuck! I wanted to buy another one! <laughs> let's do the Mount Moon. The Moon of the Mounts. Um, now that Mankey has Karate Chop, this game got extremely...